Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. This video has been prompted by a subscriber who wanted to set up a two position switch as a momentary switch, but not in the true sense of where we hold a momentary switch down and it will stay active. What the person wanted it to flick the switch, so if you flicked it forward, it would go up, stay up the servo for a few seconds and come back down again. If you flicked it the other way, it would do exactly the same. So I've come up, there aren't many ways in HTX to be able to program uh, the, the things you want to do, but this is the way I've come up with it. So let's have a look at the settings of to how to do this. Now let's take a look at the settings on the radio. I'm using the TX16S for this. I'm gonna to go to model settings and we need to go to our, there we go, our logical switches. And you can see we've got three logical switches set up there. So let's go into the first one and edit that. And you can see the function is edge. The switch V1, the switch is F, SF forward. And then you can see I put a delay on of 0.5 of a second. Let's come out of there. Go into the second one. And here it's, it's the same except for we're reversing the switch. So we, the function is edge. V1 is the switch SF now towards us. And then we've got a, a duration of 0.5 of a second. That come out of there again. And then we have to um, join these two logical switches together. And that is logical switch three, which all we do is we're gonna say or is the function and V1 is logical switch one and V2 is logical switch two. And that is it for the logical switches. Now we need to go back to our mixes. There we go. We pull our mixes up. You see, I mix this onto channel five. Now you can use any channel that you want, of course. We click there and we go edit, and you can see the source is logical switch three, and then everything else should be default. Weight is is one hundred, and everything else is zeroed. Right now, if we come out of here, okay. So now let's demonstrate this work. In if I tap here and I say channel monitors. If we watch channel five, I'm going to the switch SF, which you can't see, or it's off screen. It's the one I, I normally use that one for arming my drones. But if I click it one way, you see it went to full, full throw and then back again. So now if I push it down, it does exactly the same. Now this is what the subscriber was asking for. Now you can change that delay by going into here Model settings should be this one here. You can change the figure here to change how long that um, stays at full throw um, just by changing that figure there. So that's it. That's it demonstrated. Go back, to check again, show you again. Channel monitors, click the switch forward towards me and the wave from me, it does the same function. And there we go. I do hope the subscribers happy with what I've done there, that that is exactly what they wanted to do. And if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section because I will definitely try and get back to you. I can't always get back to you straight away, but I'll always do my best to help you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.